So my paintings are about process and a lot happens in the process that dictates the direction of how a painting goes. I tend to work in the moment. I work abstractly, I work with shapes, lines, color, texture, and that echoes what I see in my daily sort of visual landscape. I work from things that inspire me, things that relate to the ocean, surfing, skateboarding, design, car culture, and basically the paintings develop through the course of making one move that determines what the next move is, determines what the third move is, so on and so on. And sometimes the paintings work how I want them to and sometimes they don't. For me, that's the interesting part of making work, is listening to the moment and being in the moment and being spontaneous. I relate a lot of my painting process to the idea of surfing and how surfing is very unique and that each wave is different. A surfer will react and respond to each unique wave depending on what they do, depending on how they dance and interact with the wave. That's how I think about the process of painting and what happens in the studio. Each painting is different. The materials respond in a different way. Things happen in the process of making something where those things are gonna dictate what the next move is that I do. And through that series of moves, eventually a painting starts to speak back to me and let me know when it's developing and starting to develop a characteristic to it and a personality and ultimately it being finished. The paperwork started some years back through the opportunity of working with a master printer in Hawaii, Hiroki Morinui, who became a really dear friend of mine. And we were doing work on paper, we were doing prints, we were doing monotypes, block printing. And in doing that, and in the spirit of how I love to explore and experiment, I started taking a more painterly approach to printmaking. And the paper was great because what would take me weeks to do in an actual painting on canvas was a lot more spontaneous in the printmaking studio in the fact that in one session I can do anywhere from five, six, eight, ten, twelve prints and the release that was happening in that moment, the spontaneity, was amazing and so it was a totally different take than what my normal process is in the studio. That being said, I started to work on the paper pieces as more of a side project to my paintings the paperwork started to support the paintings, the paintings started to support the paperwork, and I crossed a lot of lines and barriers. I brought in spray painting techniques to the work on paper. Maybe the paperwork started with a monotype process that was the gesture to actually doing a more formal painting on paper, but it really opened my mind and eyes to looking at a new way of creating a painting. And it all started from those moments working with Hiroki in the print studio and having paper as a new material and going from there. It feels really good, it feels natural, and that's something I'm responding to. And so I'm just gonna keep doing it. If you know my work and you know the history of it over the last 25 years and sort of the roots and where it's come from, it's no surprise that the work is rooted in the design aesthetic of mid-century modernism, whether it's furniture or architecture or style fashion. The work definitely echoes that. In a more contemporary way, it talks about the visual landscape that I deal with and things I see on a daily basis, whether it's cars, car culture, automobiles, you know, the design of a car. I'm talking about design from the 50s and 60s pinstriping, color combinations, working with certain materials that reflect pearlescent paint and changes in different lighting conditions. Also surfing and skateboarding, which are big parts of my process and huge to me because I've been doing that since I was a kid. So 
I think naturally that is ingrained in my fiber and the aesthetic that goes along with surfboards and skateboards. The design through the periods I think reflects in my work most definitely.